Cross BH squad got a couple of riders on the front trying to go toe to toe with the Aeola Canada squad. It's uh, pro team level Division 2 squads that own it at the moment where the World Tour squads. UA Team Emirates, uh, Alpacin, the Coin and Bora Hanskra, the Astana Kazakhstan squads waiting to pounce. Relatively now in low in numbers, the uh, World Tour teams, therefore, leave it as late as they possibly can. Everyone trying to recover a bit after that climb. Efforts being made to move up on the outside. It's the New Zealand team, Global Six Cycling, trying to muscle into the game. Big old WB own it into the final two kilometers. This is uh, one of the final bends that they've got. Indeed, it is the final bend that they've got. It's pretty much a drag race through to the line from here. We've hit that uh, cobble rock surface that I mentioned a little earlier on. And there's uh, a few winds and twists along the way, but nothing you'd call a corner between now and the finish line. This is the seaside town of Marmaris playing host to a big bike sprint at the conclusion of stage four of the 58th edition of the uh, presidential cycling tour of turkey the other cometa want to try and move up once more and get themselves into uh, into good position lenardi sitting at the back of uh, two riders to lead him out he's got maestri who's going to try and line it up meanwhile ua team emirates revving on the left hand side of the road and where is uh, Gaspar Philipson, well, he's got Maurice looking after him. They're picking up on Lonardi at the moment, in danger of being crowded out, as we see the Astanas moving up. And the Astanas look like they're going to ride today for Ball. Ball in prime position. Medellin making a huge effort to get uh, on or near the front of the bunch. Under the kite, a kilometre remaining. And uh, going for the late, late one. How do you time this one? How do you call it? as uh, Kristen just tries to cover that little late attack or was it a lead out for the Medellin squad it amounts to very little it means the Q36.5 own it on the front into this last little wiggle that will take us to the line from here the closest thing to a, to a corner between now and the finish line coming up on four hours of bike racing today get the overhead there's a drag race to the line from here as UAE team Emirates look to lead out Alvaro Hodge for a long awaited success Jasper Philipson has work to do coming from around about 20th position at the moment he's moving up on the outside but he's in the wind a lot they think he's lost to Maurice at the moment but he has picked up on case ball he's looking to go on the right hand side of the road it's going to be a long run of the line from here 200 meters remaining they duck out of the slipstream and we pick up the lines case ball owns it on the one side of the road but Iona Cometa with Lenardi trying to get there in time but it looks like Phillips could get there and I think he's just about made it remarkable stuff Jasper Philipson gets the victory gets the hat trick and what about that for the late late show DuPont was there thereabouts Ball was there thereabouts but it took a while before Jasper Philipson was even able to contemplate celebrating that one sensational stuff and he had to pick his way through uh, an absolute melee of riders in the final couple of hundred meters moving left and right trying to find thread his way through the riders but he did it just in the nick of time Lenardi I think it was who was uh, who was edged out at the death but no doubt about the man who got the victory it was the remarkable figure that is the 25 year old Belgian Jasper Philipson who gets up for glory and success three on the bounce from the sprint stages three out of four stages this week and the Alba seem to coining sprinters absolutely flying add that to the extraordinary tally of uh, victories that he's had so far this season well so far in the last month seven wins in the last three and a half weeks look at that on the left hand side of your picture he's got a massive amount of work to do here he's muscled out of it by Alvaro Hodge needs to come with it oh sorry yeah just picking up on the outside obviously comes in the drag race that that's sheer class that's sheer speed the photo will select the second place finisher DuPont in the mix and heading to a podium once more there to appreciate the wonderful effort of his fellow countrymen Jasper Philipson Stunning work. Yes, yeah, seven wins in the last uh, four weeks. Jasper uh, Phillips, and he's won seven of his eight, uh, last eight bike races. So six of his last seven. Frustration for Dupont. 
frustration too for Arnie, but it's uh, still a very, very strong result indeed for the Ola Cometa man. Well, they can all head back to their yachts, having seen some pretty stunning race action. We've got a podium though before the uh, spectators uh, disappear. What a thrilling conclusion that was. And, uh, Motor launch the 